So the Manticore in this movie is voiced by Octavia Spencer, and she like is a restaurant owner and assists uh, Ian and uh, Barley's uh, mother and you know getting her sons back. Right. Well, I remember reading about Manticores as a kid, and the Manticore is this vicious like man-eating beast from Persian myths that like has a giant scorpion tail that like can shoot crossbow bolts out of its tail and. I just seeing this friendly manticore in this movie compared to the mythological manticore, I just think of this meme that I made the other day for this uh, Greek mythology group that I'm in. Now I kind of want to do the same thing with that same template, but like reverse, uh, you know, manticore and onward, and it's like, <laughs> and manticore in mythology. <laughs> like, ha <laughs> ha, funny times. <laughs> All right, everybody. I am here today. I just saw uh, the, the the new Pixar movie Onward. My apologies for being week late. Last week was you know the week before. You know, it's, it, I've just had a lot of projects and exams and stuff like that, so I had to get over that last week as much as I could. So I just didn't have this time to see movies. That's why I'm a week late. And even now that all that stuff is over, it's see, you know, I'm still I still got packed for spring break. I'm leaving for Denver tomorrow, and uh, I'm meeting a friend for dinner in like in an hour, and I gotta you know pack and you know just do a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna keep this review as straight to the point as humanly possible, not as much yammering. So, Onward is about two elven brothers voiced by Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, and uh, they live in a fantasy world where, like, magic is being replaced by technology, but for his 16th birthday, uh, Ian's mom, Tom Holland's character, reveals to him that, hey, we have this wizard staff that was your father's who passed away when he was, like, a little kid. Like, before he was born, actually. And they use it, and they cast a spell to bring him back, but only his legs. My leg! And, uh, yeah, then they got, like, uh, 24 hours to find another, like, go on a quest to complete the spell so they can bring, it, you know, his father back, like, for good. So, as you can probably guess, if you saw my, uh, Like a Boss review and saw my top nine most anticipated movies of 2019, uh, 2020 list, I was really, really excited for Onward. I love Pixar, I love Tom Holland, I love Chris Pratt, and I've been a huge fantasy fan for as long as I can remember. I'm majoring in English so I could pursue a degree, so I could pursue a career in fantasy writing. That's, like, my calling. That's, like, I'm hoping that I could make that big someday. And, yeah, just seeing, you know, the the trailers, I was really excited for this movie, and walking out of it, overall, I was really pleased. I'll admit, it's not as ambitious as other Pixar movies, despite its really imaginative premise. Like, the creativity in this movie is fantastic, and, of course, the, the imaginativeness, you know, with the, uh, with the fantasy world, like, all these elves and, you know, orcs and cyclopses and satyrs and mermaids, like, living in a modern world, and, oh, the centaurs in this movie, it's like, centaurs, it's just, they have two arms and four legs, six limbs, therefore they're insects, right? And they have two rib cages and two stomachs and two pairs of intestines, oh my gosh, it's disgusting. But, yeah, uh, just so, the, the quest was interesting. There was a lot of really entertaining, like, nail biting moments, like, oh my gosh, they're hap that, that's happening, oh, they're, they're ri driving down the highway, oh no, the pixies and the sprites are appearing, and oh, that building's burning down, and they, they, they get to the place, and the quest gets intensified, and the climax was pretty top-notch. Not exactly what I was expecting, but still pretty, like, top-notch. And it's just, like, there were a few, like, I guess, narrative issues that I noticed with this movie. I don't know, it's like, narratively speaking, I feel like other Pixar films in recent memory have been more, you know, enticing. Like, I haven't seen Incredibles 2... Uh, Coco was, yeah, Coco was very narratively interesting. We haven't had an original Pixar movie since 2017. Wow, that's crazy. I feel like there was a little too much reliance on cliches in a few scenes, too. But, like, you know, cliches in themselves aren't inherently bad. It's just what you do with them. It's just, like, you see, like, something, and you're just like, ugh, we've seen this way too many times. Yeah, there were a handful of those moments there. But I think, uh... You know, this is not as emotional as, you know, other Pixar movies have been, but there's definitely a lot of, like, heartfelt moments. And the voice acting from Tom Holland and Chris Pratt has, you know, and, and from Octavia Spencer voicing the Manticore was very well done as well. And really just everything you expect from a Pixar movie. Like, you know, Pixar just has the magic after all these years, and they're really never going to disappoint. I hear that this movie actually flopped at the box office. And it's uh, been banned in some countries. I really haven't looked too much into that. Like, when I go to see movies, I really don't look at movie reviews or articles about the movie before seeing it. I just don't want to look at any critical receptions of any kind, so I just watch the movie, like, as open-minded as I possibly can without any of those biases. But yeah, I, I really have to read more into that, like, get to the bottom of this. And yeah, onward, guys. 
Oh, I would really. I, I honestly don't see what's so offensive about Onward. It is a pretty interesting message about the idea of sons being raised without fathers because you know their father's dead and like they're coming to grips with that. So yeah, that there is a there is a pretty big like fatherless issue in society, especially in low income communities. So I, I I think it was trying to make a point about that, but at, at the same time, like what's so offensive about having some morals in there? I don't know. But anyway, onward, I would really recommend seeing this movie, guys. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 stars. It's a really likable film. All right, thank you guys a lot for watching. Uh, have you seen Onward? What did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below, please. And yeah, spring break is upon us. And whew, yeah, just finally, I can have some breathing room. The past week has been hell, I'm telling you, with you know projects and stuff like that. And uh, when we get back because of the virus, all the classes here are going to be uh, online classes, which is going to be really interesting. I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. But you know what? Everything's going to work out for the best. Wash your hands, kids. All right? Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.